It's a small step, but the government is starting to get out of the mortgage business by lowering the amount of loans it will guarantee from 729000 to 625000 Still sounds like a lot of money to me, but high-end real estate agents like Connie DeGroote in L.A. are outraged, claiming the reduction will make a bad real estate market even worse. She joins us now. And, uh, Connie, I, I respect your opinion a lot. You know more about real estate than practically anybody in the country. But I think you're dead wrong on this. I don't think the government, uh. I don't think taxpayers should be guaranteeing anything over 500, even $500,000 is a lot of money, no? Well, I can understand why you would say that, but Los Angeles, as is Boston, as is Honolulu, Hawaii, Seattle, Chicago, these areas, you know, you might think that uh, you could get a very nice home for $500,000, but you really can't. So, so the only other alternative is to go to the valley. These are other areas that I, uh -huh. that I sent you. But, it, but we have traffic, and you might have to drive over an oh, hour to get oh, in. To, oh, I know, Connie, I know. Connie, David, I'm sorry, David, but David, I, I'm David, not David. going to be playing a violin for people that have to spend a little David. more time in traffic. Da That's David, not what taxpayers are for, Connie. David, 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 you're hurting middle America. You are hurting just regular families in Connie, Los Angeles. Middle America has to Montana. get by without government government supports for their five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollar home, even if they have to if you, suffer the, the iniquity of being David, in traffic for an extra half hour. David, David, if you are well qualified, you're a good risk. The people that are qualifying for loans today are good they're they're good risks. It's the problem is not that the government was involved. They've been involved for a long time. It that was that there were the no there were low standards, and that's why we got all these bad loans. But, it's, but there are well-qualified people moving forward that should have the right to jump in. It's hurting the move-up right. buyer market here. It's hurting middle Connie, America. What we have here, seen, middle Americans here. Connie, that's what we have seen here. over the past four years is how badly government involvement in the real estate market has hurt not only the real estate market, but the entire economy. And the sooner that the we begin to pull bad. the government out of this process, the better. Okay. Let's face it. You... <laughs> You deal with a clientele that is pretty rich and has very high standards. No, no, That's no, no, fine. No. That's no, fine. David, but the, David, the point the, is, is that taxpayers should not be forced to bail out people who have to live in a six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollar house. David, David, the last two years, respectfully, I disagree. The last two years, I've been working with people buying under a million. I've been working with people that are moving here from all over the country, and they are shocked. They're regular people that are working. They're nothing special. They're not millionaires. Not even close. They're struggling. They cannot believe that people are paying what they're paying for to live in these homes because it's different. I've Nobody's traveled all over the world. I know that. Nobody's forced well, no, to live in a home. Well, no, they don't have the option. You can, you no, have, you have plenty of options in this. It is a free country. You can still rent. But rents you can, are you rising can buy in Los a cheaper Angeles. place rents that maybe are, has louder street are, noise no, if you want. No. But you shouldn't be rents able to are, take my tax money in order to live in a seven hundred thousand dollar house. David, I'm having a great time with you, but the pro I have to say one thing: <laughs> the uh, the rents, the rents in Los Angeles have been going up. Okay. So really, I have a house on the market for sale for around 800. That basically you can buy the house, own the house for less than you could live in that neighborhood to rent. All right. Hello? Well, Connie, Connie, I got to say, if anybody's in California, anywhere in California, you see this woman because, again, nobody knows real estate like this woman. She's the only person you should buy property from. But, again, on this issue of government support for real estate, forget about it. We'll never agree, ah. Connie. All right. Thanks a lot. All Connie right. DeGroote, good to see you again. President Obama again calling for more tax.